In this video, you're going to learn three things. One, why traditional traders who use charts and indicators will go obsolete. Two, why traders using machine learning slash AI will increase and succeed. And number three, an example on how to create a machine learning trading strategy right from the research all the way to execution, including taking commissions into account. Now, I'm not talking about value investors. Value investors or long-term holders of the stock always have a fundamental good edge and buying stocks whenever there is a marked correction provided that fair value or undervalue is a good decision. What I'm talking specifically is day traders who use charts and indicators. So let's take a simple example whose codes will be discussed deeply as we go into the video. So let's say there's a traditional discretion trader, see something like a pattern and he thinks, okay, this might give me an edge. Let's say it's based on like an RSI 14 period and then he decides that, hey, if uh, the price is making lower lows and the RSI is kind of below 30 and I'm seeing a sudden rise in the price, then I think I might go long. And he kind of compares it uh, to pretty much all the other uh, situations in the chart and he goes like, okay, that's a perfect entry. I've seen it a few times it worked, so I'm going to deploy that. Now compare this to an AI or a machine learning trader. Now he has a huge edge. Uh, forget the RSI 14 period. What he's going to do is like he's going to put in all the numbers from RSI 2 to 25 and tell the machine learning model to find out the patterns from all these data and find the best suited as well. And on top of that, he is going to tell the machine to come up with an equation that give him an edge in finding a trading signal. Now, that doesn't end there. Uh, he's going to test this on training data and then find out the results for that. And then he's going to apply this on testing data and see whether it actually works. Now, if it works, he's going to go for it. Otherwise, um, he stops right then and there. Now, after this, he's going to actually execute this, i.e. algo trade it, so that it gets automated. So he doesn't have to worry about execution. So he doesn't have to worry about, uh, let's say, panic or hesitation or greed or confidence or missing out or any of those things. The execution will be done specifically as designed by the algo. And it's not just one algo. So this is just one training model. So imagine you can create like 10, 15 models all simultaneously, uncorrelated. So this is the big edge that the machine learning slash AI slash quant trader has and it's substantial as compared to a discretionary day slash swing trader. They can't even imagine doing all this stuff manually over so many amounts of strategies. Now you might think it's like kind of complicated, like I have to do math, I have to do coding, uh, it might take a long time. Well it's not that difficult as people think. You can be up to speed in less than a week. Like, for instance, if you don't know coding, most of the resources are available free online. So if you don't know coding, you can check out our video on our YouTube channel, Algorithmic Trading in Python. Uh, it's like three hours long. So if you commit like 30 minutes a day, you know, you could probably finish this in less than a week and you will be proficient in Python. Now, again, if you're worried about execution and how to execute this on the broker, uh, how to make this automated or algo traded, don't worry about it. We've got Quant Connect again, free video on our channel. You should be up to speed in less than uh, two or three days. Again, 30 minutes a day. So now coming to the math part, you don't need to memorize things. You don't need to uh, know how to derive the thing. All you need to know is to understand what each mathematical model does. Uh, so you can use the ideas in the right equation. So in this video alone, we'll be discussing two important features of machine learning, how it was researched, how we collected the data, how we executed it, and you will see for yourself how simple it is. Uh, and then later on, you will be able to squeeze it in your own ideas in the same way. Uh, so let's start with what PCA or principal component analysis uh, is. So this is like a statistical tool. So it's pretty simple. Let's say you, uh, you have like an image recognition software, you're planning to create one and then you've got lots of data, you've got lots of pictures, and you have to figure out who's who. Uh, so you've got data on the nose, on the eyes, on the eyebrows, on the lips, and all these things. So what PCA does is it takes all these features, right? So imagine we've got like 25 features of the face. That's a lot. Like you can take like cheekbones and color of the skin and uh, the ears, and the hair, and all those things. So you can reduce that 20, 25 features to maybe like five or six. And that's what principal component does. Uh, so it takes a huge amount of data and then it compresses to a few five or six. So it might feel like, hey, the nose is not that significant 
or the eyes is not that significant eyes and eyebrow is not that significant in actually uh, confirming whether the person's image recognition is correct or not um, instead the lips and the nose combination might be far more efficient so you can completely ignore the eyes and eyebrows you can give them less weight or whatever uh, less importance or in fact you know remove that data completely so what it basically does is that it takes out the noise right so it takes out the noise and thus helps us get improved data i.e data without noise and on top of that you also get better computational performance because you're having lots of these data right you don't you don't need to have like these too much amount of data that can create any issues so how can we use PCA for trading? So just like the example that I said in the beginning, you can use the same RSI numbers, like RSI 2 to 25. So that's like 20 plus sets of data, columns of data and multiple days of rows. If you're using 10, 10 years of rows, it's like a tremendous amount of data. So what I can do is I can tell PCA to say, you know what, I don't want the 20 plus data. I want you to reduce the amount of data to maybe like five or six instead of 20 plus. So PCA helps us achieve that. So it takes out all the noise of that RSI and only gives us the important information from the RSI, which we can use to create trading signals. Now, once you have changed or transformed that data, right, the RSI data, which we can do not only in RSI, we can actually do it on volume, we can do it on moving average, uh, we can do it on ADX, but now you can use, let's say this one, this RSI, We've got the data, we've transformed it to a lower dimensionality. Now we can use this data and use a machine learning model uh, to actually create a signal to enter and exit. So we can use like a linear regression model which comes under supervised learning. Uh, so a simple question would be what is supervised learning? So supervised learning has got two uh, characteristics. One is the input feature or labeled features and then the output feature which is uh, something you're trying to predict or called target variable. So I know it's kind of complicated, but it's not really. So in this simple example, it's the input features will be the RSI numbers, the six numbers that we created from the PCA, and the output will be the future price or return, depending on what you want to predict. Uh, so if you want to sum it up this whole trading strategy in one simple sentence, uh, we are using the RSI data and we're using PCA to transform this data and use a supervised learning strategy, supervised machine learning model, uh, to create trading entries and exits. And that's it. That's that's that simple how the trading strategies. So once you've designed this model, we need to apply it on training and testing data. So once we get this model, we apply in training data to see, okay, this is the best fit, this works here. Now that doesn't mean anything. We need to take this and we need to apply it on a testing data. So data that's completely outside the data uh, of the training. So it could be from, if you're doing the training from 2000, 2010, you can do it for 2010, 20, or maybe even a smaller uh, size. Like maybe you can do it from 2020 to 2023, you know, try to see how it works in volatile period or trending period to see how, how it performs. Once that's done, once we get the green signal from the testing data, then we are ready to go. Then we can actually plug in our codes to uh, Quant Connect and then just feed in the username and password for the login details for Interactive Brokers or any of the other accounts. And that's it, that's one trading strategy right there. So you can do strategy similar like this, maybe like 10, 15, 20, depending upon your account size, the amount of opportunities that you could do uh, to actually create efficient strategies is pretty cool. So now let's run through this code, which covers the entire process and some amazing testing results. So the entire code for the Jupyter Notebook and the Quant Connect is available for our course students in Prometheus. Um, it's under the code section. Uh, now you can take these codes and make changes to it or even completely change the inputs from RSI to like I said, ADX or uh, volume or on balance volume. Okay, so this is the code that is in the Jupyter Notebook. So initially we'll be importing the libraries and we'll be using the scikit-learn uh, library to do the linear regression which is supervised model and also the PCA as well. And then we'll be downloading the data. So initially we'll be doing it for the training data and then we'll be doing it on the testing data. And as seen before, we'll be downloading the RSI. We'll be creating the RSI two period to 25 period, for the SPY. And then we will be calculating the principal component analysis and we'll be reducing the dimensionality as discussed before uh, to six. And then we'll be doing a supervised model. In this specific case, we'll be doing a linear regression. Uh, linear regression is quite simple and it's quite effective in machine learning. I mean, there are many complex models but sometimes simplicity works much better. I'm not gonna go deep into linear regression um, 
we did a small video on linear regression before as well. Um, so once we get the linear regression, which we'll use as a predictive uh, measure, so we are actually predicting the price six days ahead. So we've taken the six days ahead returns as well. Um, and then we're going to use the PCA data. Uh, and then we're going to calculate the thresholds. Um, so in this, we have taken the thresholds of 0 0.90 and 0 0.10, which is like the extreme ends of the prediction. Uh, so based on that thresholds, we can create like a signal, whether to go long or whether to go short. Um, and then we will calculate the returns of it based on this specific strategy. Uh, so I've created um, the returns and also compared with the SPY return. So this is from 2000 to 2010. Uh, so you can see the results are positive, but this is not something special. Uh, and it has outperformed the SPY uh, because the reason why it's not special is because it's done on the training model. So it's supposed to work well. Uh, now we have to apply this on a testing data. So for that, we're doing to do 2020 to 2023. So in Quant Connect, I'll do a completely different time. But for here, just, just recent developments from 2020 to 2023 on the SPY. And we're going to do the exact same RSI. Uh, and then we're going to use whatever we used before the PCA uh, data that we got. We're going to use it here. Um, and then we're also going to do the, uh, the model that we created here the uh, supervised model we're going to apply it there and then we are going to enter based on the signals that we created based on the thresholds uh, as well and once we do that this is the final result of that so the final investment value of ten thousand um, dollars invested we will get uh, something around twelve thousand six hundred and twelve point four six um, so this is the initial um, analysis that we do in the Jupyter Notebook. Now we'll go to Quant Connect and then we'll apply it on Quant Connect's platform so we can execute the strategy live. Uh, so in Quant Connect, it's not as simple as you think because again, in Quant Connect, we have to do the exact same things. Uh, we have to do a training model and also we have to do um, the test on a back test model. Now, just to interrupt a bit, now if you like my training style, um, I am thinking of creating a course which purely focuses on. Uh, machine learning trading strategies. So, so far we've been doing more of a quantitative based strategy, which is quite simple, uh, but machine learning is slightly more complicated because there's this math involved. So um, just like the PCA, there are other maths involved, uh, just like supervised model, you can do things like K-means clustering, which can help you with the portfolio, but it is, it's quite a lot of work. So you need to put in lots of information in there before I make the course, but I will only be making that course if you guys are quite interested in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm going to give a link in the description box and in the comment section. Um, all you have to do is just show your interest in that link by giving uh, your email. So if, if the number of people who are interested in that purely machine learning AI trading strategy course is like more than 100 or something like that, I will seriously put an effort uh, in bringing that course. And I'll also be giving a discount to those people who actually show the interest as well. So people who bought the Prometheus course, they will also be giving given a small amount of discount for their upgrade. Uh, to the machine learning course as well. Now going back to the codes, if we can go to the here, you can you can see the advantage of of uh, Quant Connect is that you can actually use all these libraries, the scikit libraries, and then uh, execute the strategy. Uh, so you just have to go and initially we have we have decided two thousand ten to twenty twenty three. That will be our testing. So I want it to be a much more uh, bigger testing space, so you can see the actual returns. Uh, much more better, but we need to create a training window as well. So for training we use here, we created a training window of 2000, 2010. And then we calculate the RSI values and all the other things like the PCA and the um, uh, linear regression model and all those things. And the result we got is this. Uh, we've taken commissions into account. Um, so we've got $275,848. There has been a certain um, years. We have a slight bit of drawdown here, for example, in 2020. Um, and if you can go down, uh, we'll go into much more details here. Uh, so you can see the compound annual return is 8 and the drawdown is 27, which is actually much better than the uh, typical SPX investment. So SPX investment is on average 10% CAGR. 
but the drawdown is like 55%. So this is actually pretty good. Uh, so the CAGR to drawdown ratio for this strategy is much superior to that of the SPY buy and hold. But there are lots of improvements to be done. We can add in other things. So in this case, we only used RSI as the... Um, as a PCA, we can actually use many other things. Uh, we can use the volume, we can use the ADX, and we can also create, mess around with the, um, you know, the thresholds and all those things. And we can also do a portfolio-based strategy as well, apart from the um, SPY. So there are lots of improvements to be done. Anyways, the entire code for this strategy, both in Quant Connect uh, and in the Jupyter Notebook, is available for the Prometheus students as of now. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you understood what I'm trying to convey. Uh, it is not that complicated if you actually put in effort and if you just go through the methodology step by step, if you watch the videos in Python uh, and Quant Connect, and if you can understand the uh, procedures better, then you are going to succeed in deploying this. And in Quant Connect, it is quite easy. You just have to go live trade. And if your favorite broker is in there, then it becomes much easier. Uh, you just have to just put in the username and password. We've discussed this in the Quant Connect tutorial video. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.